HMMMMM. Yes, another compilation. For superpower of those main characters. Ready, set, go! Using the karate, transform into Super Saiyan and the Kamehameha from his mouth. Today I'm gonna talk about how Freddy Fazbender have this day man's uniform and how did he train the karate. Let's go for the context where the Freddy Fazbear Pizza is closed because of his lowest down vote for this location. The haunted animatronics are now living in the dark place and stuck in this restaurant until further notice. This make them very upset and frustrated, especially the bear, who has been wrecked by none other the eggplant guy who messed up everything. So basically, all he need is a revenge. For now he leaves the restaurant and go to the Shaolin Temple, go up the long staircase that it look like a movie. After that when he finally reached the place, he met a regular kung fu man that a veteran will say oh wait, I know this dude, and the newcomer will say, who the fuck is this, and then the bear begin to start the training, Hi! and now he need to train like push ups, punching bag, sparring and the most important thing, scratching the back, like every bear does, he train very hard day and night, no rest just keep training to achieve the most powerful fighting style in the world. He need to learn every technique that existed in the karate and want to surpass the 4000 years of Chinese martial arts. This prove a high potential from the animatronic, he will master his karate and he will become the kung fu bear. After few days, he has finally mastered the karate and the kung fu man has something to say. You know. There are two powerful out of on the two poles of the world, the white hat in the North Pole and the golden suits in the South Pole. If you find those treasures, the night man will appear in front of you and you need to vanquish him for the sake of the light. Are you ready for this? And then Freddy goes to search the day man uniform with an airplane. First the yellow suit to the south, and then the white hat to the north. The fat bear become the banisher of darkness. Alright, I've been expecting you, Classic Freddy. I'm not classic anymore, but I will banishing your dark of hell. Whatever bitch, let's rumble. <laughs> oh, your low light attack is bullshit. Finally, he defeated the Nightman. Freddy Fazbender is now ready for rematch to kill this stupid aubergine Daniel. <laughs> now let's go for the result to see what the Dayman is capable of. <laughs> Magnificent. And now Freddy go back to the restaurant and regain his previous position. This is the explanation of how Freddy mastered his karate and had this day man uniform. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bonnie. The second character and considering the scariest animatronic according Scott. And yes. Why he is scared of Bonnie. Simple, he doesn't have eyebrows. I'm gonna talk about how did he receive this transformation called the faceless personification. Let's see what is the true behind of his power. Back to the context where the pizzeria is closed. When Freddy and Foxy are leaving the building, there are only Bonnie and the duck who are still staying in the building. Bonnie was staying calmly in the stage and thinking about his animatronic design. After a remake of his model, he is thinking that because something triggered him. So he is gonna go to the mirror to see his face. The engineer said that the animatronic is a rabbit. While Bonnie think that he look like a dog. Pretty hard to know the difference. Bonnie is frustrated by his new look. So he punches the mirror by his anger, calmly. Damn it. So he decide to do something very particular. A drawing. A paper drawn by himself when he was withered a few years ago. Remember, what Bonnie actually said. Why I look like Mecha Sonic. When he said that. He didn't talk about the similarity. He actually saying about the categories. Yes, a sort of unique type of design. Bonnie opens the paper, and this is what is he talking about. A draw with three robots and one Lunarian on the paper. Here the list, dark blue or indigo body, armor body. Metal sharp features, red eyes and no mouth. A type of design that look more aggressive. A design that nobody knows and understanding why they are so badass. What did Jade Kingar Martin say about Bonnie? Bonnie is the most aggressive. Exactly, he doesn't mean about his personality, but he talking about his appearance. Speaking of, Bonnie have lavender body, and red eyes, and his withered version has dark blue body, red eyes, armor body, metal sharp features, and his lower joints count as no mouth. So Bonnie would be a perfect candidate for this blue knight red eyes sharp type. Now he is gonna focus to watch the drawing with his big eyes. He focus so much because he want to be like them. He watches day by day concentrate only the drawing and nothing else. After that Bonnie start to involve. And one day, when he see the mirror once again, his face become the same when it was few years ago but now it can active or inactive his mode. And let me just say that rich people are become jealous of Bonnie. Because he did a plastic surgery for free. Bonnie is happy now and he is no longer a furry. 
and no longer Bonnie the Rabbit, but Bonnie the Cryptid. With his transformation, he unlocks some new special attacks. He can now using special attack like teleportation, he can do that like a chaos control in a small range, and then his second attack is the famous left arm bazooka. A projective attack like a rocket launcher with his arm and go straight at the speed of Mach 2, and hit with a destructive impact. You think he can only use once? Don't worry he can regenerate his left arm. Finally Bonnie reach his faceless personification by the easiest way to achieve his power. This is the end of the video how did Bonnie receive the transformation called the faceless personification. Thanks for watching. Foxy have the power of the devil fruit called the Gamu Gamu no Mi. In fact he can stretch all of his body like a rubber and become the rubber fox. I'm gonna talk about how did he obtain the devil fruit? Well the thing that the devil fruit is not found in the FNAF universe, but it's in the One Piece universe. You might be thinking how did he ate the devil fruit while he's not in FNAF world? Let's go to the context again, where the pizzeria is closed, and Foxy being chaotic in the pirate code. He is out of control and then he suddenly stopped because he hears someone murmuring. When Foxy looked up who that is, and it was Oro, who is actually lost as usual. But Foxy interrupted it asking him. Hey, you're not supposed to be here, eh? This place is very abandoned, so you better to leave. It's alright, I give you the exit. After that Foxy guides Oro to get the exit, and then they get lost in another dimension. And you guessed it, they are in the One Piece world, 13 years ago before the series start where the red hair pirates are searching the devil fruit. Foxy is confused why he is in a random place along with Zoro, and then some agents spotted and started to shooting them. Zoro blocking with his sword while Foxy hide from the shooting and then he find a treasure box, he opens up and he found a Gamu Gamu no Mi, Foxy doesn't know what that is, but he eats it anyway. And then he feels power up that his arms felt like a spaghetti. Anyway, Zoro kill every agent on the ship and now he met the last member of the CP9, who's who, this situation is getting weird because it is not supposed to be this in One Piece lore. I think Zoro broke up the timeline. Who's who prepare to attack? Foxy kicked his who's ass by using the Gamu Gamu note to punch on the face. And now the red hair pirate shoot the cannon to the marine ship, that make the ship incline and Foxy and Zoro fall inside the ship. The furry wake up and landed on the Grand Canyon, in FNAF universe of course. Wait what the fuck is going on? Why am I in a Grand Canyon? Every fax must be in a Grand Canyon. Gamu Gamu no can a pirate masturbate in this fucking house. So, where is that green hair guy? Hey Lewis, what the hell does Zoro around here? Say idiot in Japanese. Zoro, Bakadesio. Huh? After a long road, Foxy finally returned at the pizzeria. This is the explanation of how Foxy had the Gamu Gamu no Mi. Thanks for watching. Today I will finally introduce Chica, I mean the duck who have a dumb face and all she can say is pizza. Pizza? I'm gonna talk about why the duck always say pizza. Let's go to analyze this mysterious species and maybe ask if she has a power? Back to context where three are doing their stuff. While in the kitchen, the duck like always eating his favorite food. Hey you. Pizza? Yes you. I don't know if you have a some power behind. Pizza? Why you are standing like an idiot and why every time you say pizza.
just nostalgia for veterans. LMAO, you forget to have the fabulous Orbishian man. Today I'm going to talk about the eggplant punch which is made by none other the aubergine man. <sighs> In fact it's the most devastating attack that everyone like it, I'm going to teach you how to use properly. There are important steps that I request you to acquire this power, because if you skip the majority what I say, you will not able to obtain what you need. Trust me guys, it's very simple, after that you can able beat many opponents with one blow. Step 1, Eat Eggplant. Just like the name of the attack, you need to eat a whole eggplant every single days for orbit of Mars. Indeed the eggplant is contain a lot of potassium to increase the strength. This give you great power. Do never skip a day without an eggplant because the source of the energy that stock in your body will be lost, and you have no choice to restart your regimen. And additionally, don't take one extra nanogram after eating a whole eggplant otherwise you will rush into sex drive and farting. Just like a few people in community of FNAF nowadays, and you will be unstable for the rest of your life. Step 2, Drive a Car. In the second game, the first appearance in the mini game wasn't David, it was the purple car. All you need is have a purple Chevy Impala with a V8 triple turbo with thick wheel, extra thick, and a Bose suspension. Drive illegally won't ever race track at 374 km per hour to experience the speed, and then turn the corner without braking because you need to train the G-force, and this type of training is equivalent of body weight exercise. Every turn at 374 km per hour your body will receive a massive G-force between 5 and 8 G, this will break your neck. Don't forget to remove the power steer cause you need to turn harder, and also add 4 WD. 4 WS and many spoilers to increase the handling, otherwise the car will not able to catch the road. You might be thinking why did he chose the Chevy Impala? Well the answer is pretty simple, this dude was inspired by none other the mysterious man mentioned by the staff bots from Security Breach. In fact Dave admired the way how the mysterious man drive, so he act just like him. Anyways after you do this every day, you will have several injuries like the neck which caused by the centrifugal force, so that explain why he has a spaghettification neck. But thanks to the with pain with gain, your force will 100% stronger than a strong man, and also don't stay longer in the road or you will easily get caught by Spinato. Hello! Speed ladder. Step 3, Surfing the Net. This is the most logical thing to invent a new technique. You need to go the internet and search a video to mimic the meme. But that's not the real case, the truth is to search the real satisfaction. Like for example watching Speed Racer or playing Mega Man X and Kirby and Keizo Mod are the perfect choice. Like that your brain release endorphins. Your brain cells will stay in your head because they appreciate it, and the brain cells are the most major important source for doing the eggplant punch. And yet, do never watch Degenerate video. Hear the explanation. If you watch some good clips like badass action and good humor, the cells stay. If you watch some Degenerate content like Roblox Minecraft or Elsagate, they leave you. That mean your punch is not effective and will completely shattering. Yes, the brain needs lot of nerves. I mean bro, how can you achieve the made in heaven? Now I leave this aubergine man to talk himself why he is an interesting character. Yes, long time ago I was British, and now I live in the United States of America. The thing I am so unique because I will never mimic the international mean because they are bullshit. If I want to die I can do this, and not this cause it's cringe. I able to do this those in a long period when sad and complete the orbit. I can make a reference with 8% of the world know, and the rest ignore. And finally, the most I respect are these dudes, because they're so majestic. And this, get a fuck out or I will eradicate you. I never liked those suckers. They should not exist in this world, especially those. Hey, the girl from Chainsaw Man, what are they called? Like those creatures are not scary for all baby. There is one man that I fear and I respect them. Roger Noah Zorro. <laughs> oh God, you're here. I didn't expecting you. Please don't slice my machine flesh. Broccoli man. Now you got everything. Let's see for the result with the loser, the target, and the stage. Time for a big blast. Oh. Trust. Spectacular, but I think you need a specific training to increase more power, and only one community or a true man of culture know this type of training. That's it for the explanation of Eggplant Punch, thanks for watching. Oh by the way, Dave has important thing to say. Now I have a request for you, and tell everybody in entire world. A quote from elusive Orbishian man, Soundwave is tremendously superior, and that trash bowl must be most inferior.